Gate Titan has been on the market for years. It has the most complete functions compared to any other ETUs. However, the price is also the highest. A Gate Titan Advance plus a USB link costs around 150, but a parent hybrid only costs about 75. That's only half price compared to Gate Titan. But how's this ETU performance? Let's take a look on the functions comparison. Alright, let's see the first chart. We can see the trigger sensitivity control. All of them is adjustable, but only the parent hybrid can program via trigger. However, I think the Gate Titan has the more sensitivity trigger than parent hybrid because the sensor is much closer to the trigger. In the burst mode, Gate Titan Basic and Advanced can set 3 and 5 via trigger. If you want to go to deeper programming, you need to program with the USB link. The parent hybrid can program via trigger. In active break, Gate Titan Basic and Advanced can only set on and off. If you want to program the percent, you need to program with the USB link, but parent hybrid can program via trigger. And the pre cocking they all got it, no problem. And the pre cocking boost, like the active brake, they can only program with USB link, and the parent hybrid can program via trigger. And the binary trigger, they all can program via trigger, that's no problem. But the two-step trigger, both basic and advanced can only program via USB link and the parent hybrid can program via trigger. The two-stage trigger means uh, it's like AUG. You pull the trigger on the half position, it will fire as semi. When you pull the trigger to the deepest position, it will fire as full auto. And here's the second chart. We can see the rope control, which means rate of fire. The gate and basic and advanced can set five positions from 10 to 50%, and they can only be programmed with a USB link. And the parent hybrid can set five positions as well, you can set 6 to 30%. But advanced has a unique function, you can set a delay. A delay means the semi delay, so you can shoot slow as auto. And a sniper delay, the basic can set from 0 0.2 to 3 seconds. And advanced can set 0 0.01 to 5 seconds. Of course, they can only be programmed with the USB link. The parent hybrid can set 0 0.25 to 3 seconds. And they all have LiPo alarm, which means the battery protection. The cycle control. Basic and advanced can set low, mid, high speed gears and DSG and 19T gears. Of course, they can only program with a USB link. Parent hybrid can set SSG and DSG, but I think it's no problem with 19T gears as well. And a smart trigger. It means when you activate the rope control, it will still shoot the full speed with semi. So you will still have fast trigger response with the semi. And the equalizer, it's a pretty unique function on the advanced. Uh, when you pull the trigger, generally you need to release the trigger when you're gonna shoot another round. But with the equalizer, you can, you can only release the trigger a little bit and pull it again. It will immediately fire again. It will benefit the trigger response. So here's the last chart. They all have their own diagnostic system. The basic advanced, you can plug in the USB link and see all the information you would want to know. However, parent hybrid only shows you some information on what problems it goes with the ETU. With the Gate Titan, you can even see the amp draw and the BBs you shoot and many, many other informations you want to know but it's not doable in the hybrid, so, so it's the biggest advantage of the Gate Titan. And profile, when you go to other fields, some field might ban the binary trigger and you don't want to reprogram everything, so you can just save a file. But it's only work on a Gate Titan Advanced, and it cannot be done on a Gate Titan Basic and a hybrid. Of course, it can, of course even for Gate Titan Advanced, you still need a USB link. So if you want me to say which is the best, depending on the function, Skate Titan is surely the best with no doubt. But compared to price, Parent Hybrid is really competitive on this one. However, if you want to access full control on Gate Titan, you need to buy a USB link, even for basic module. It's like they tie up the service as a kit already. You can go to the Gate Titan official page to see what function can be done on the trigger only. Parent Hybrid sure do a great ETU as well. You can depend on what functions you really need and decide which models you want. But you must be curious what models has the best trigger response. 
I'll say they all have the same. However, Gate Titan's trigger is more comfortable thanks to its equalizer and sensor position. I feel better on this one because the sensor is much closer to the trigger, so you don't need to adjust the trigger much deeper. I think it's not so comfortable to pull on such deep position. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have anything to ask, you comment in the comment section below. I see you next time.